the big question, is the console war over? Hey gamers, today we're diving into a topic that's sure to get you all fired up. With all the recent leaks and rumors about new consoles and game releases, one big question stands out. Is the console war finally over? Let's break down the latest news and see what it means for the future of gaming. Microsoft has been making waves with rumors of a new sleek disc-less Xbox Series X, but the real shocker. Whispers of a potential portable gaming device from Microsoft. If true, this would be a game changer, giving Microsoft a foothold in a market dominated by Nintendo and a chance to challenge Sony's dominance. Imagine carrying your Xbox games in your pocket sounds too good to be true, right? But these rumors are persistent and could indicate a massive shift in Microsoft's strategy. Sony isn't sitting idle. The leaked specs of the PS5 Pro suggest it's going to be a beast of a machine boasting 45% more power than the current PS5. With ray tracing speeds up to 4 times faster and a new upscaling technology that could push visuals to 8K, Sony is clearly aiming to cement its place at the top. But here's the kicker, the PS5 Pro is rumored to be 3 times more powerful than the Xbox Series X. If these leaks are accurate, Sony might just be gearing up to deliver a knockout punch in the console war. Valve's rumored Steam console could be the dark horse in this race. Imagine a console that brings the vast Steam library into your living room with the simplicity of a console interface. This could attract PC gamers who crave the comfort of console gaming while keeping their extensive Steam libraries intact. It's a bold move that could disrupt the traditional console market in ways we've never seen before. The Call of Duty Black Ops 6 leaks have also stirred the pot. By ensuring the game runs on both current and next-gen consoles, Activision is playing it safe, but are they missing a chance to push the boundaries of next-gen gaming? This decision could lead to debates about whether developers should focus on maximizing the potential of new hardware or ensuring accessibility across all platforms. So what do these moves mean for the future of gaming? Here are some hot takes to get the conversation going. Is the console war over? With each company carving out its own niche and diversifying their offerings, are we moving towards a more collaborative cross-platform future? Or will these bold moves only intensify the competition? Portable Gaming Revival If Microsoft enters the portable gaming market, will it succeed where others have failed? Can they compete with the Nintendo Switch and potential new players like Valve's Steam console? Power VS Accessibility Sony's focus on raw power with the PS5 Pro versus Microsoft's potential new hardware strategies, what matters more to gamers? Do we want the most powerful console or the one that offers the best overall experience? Your turn. I want to hear from you. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think the console war is over? Are you excited about the potential new hardware from Microsoft and Sony? And what about Valve's rumored console game changer or flash in the pan? Let's get the conversation started. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with all the latest in gaming news and rumors. Stay tuned to Joystick News for more deep dives and hot takes.